just got done meditating. Dang, that wasn't a sleep, that was gentle. Alright, let me see where okay. <sighs> Moreover, Ahithophel said unto Absalom, Let me now choose out twelve thousand men, and I will arise and pursue after David this night. And I will come upon him while he is weary and weak-handed, and will make him afraid. And all the people that are with him shall flee, and I will smite the king only. And I will bring back all the people unto thee. The man whom thou seekest is as if all return. So all the people shall be in peace. And the saying pleased Absalom well, and all the elders of Israel. Then said Absalom, Call now Hushai the archite also, and let us hear likewise what he saith. And when Hushai was come to Absalom, Absalom spake unto him, saying, Ahithophel hath spoken after this manner. Shall we do after his saying, if not thou speak thou? And Hushai said unto Absalom, The counsel that Ahithophel hath given is not good at this time. I'm sorry. The person you tried to reach is not taking calls at this time. For said Hushai, thou knowest thy father and his men, that they may For said Hushai, thou knowest thy father and his men, that they might be mighty men, and they be chafed in their minds as a bear robbed of her wealth in the field. And thy father is a man of war, and will not lodge with the people. Behold, he is hid now in some pit, or in some other place, and it will come to pass, when some of them be overthrown at the first, that whosoever heareth it will say, There is a slaughter among the people that follow Absalom. And he also that is valiant, whose heart is as the heart of a lion, shall utterly melt. For all Israel knoweth that thy father is a mighty man, and they which be with him are valiant men. Therefore I counsel that all Israel be genu generally gathered unto thee from Dan even to Beersheba, as the sand that is by the sea for multitude, and that thou go to battle in thine own person. So shall we come upon him in some place where he shall be found, and we will light upon him as the dew falleth on the ground. And of him and of all the men that are with him, there shall not be left so much as one. Moreover, if he be gotten into a city, then shall all Israel bring ropes to that city, and we will draw it into the river until there be not one small stone found there. And Absalom and all the men of Israel said, The counsel of Hushai the archite is better than the counsel of Ahithophel. For the, Lord hath, for the Lord had appointed to defeat the good counsel of Ahithophel, to the intent that the Lord might bring evil upon Absalom. Then said Hushai unto Zadok and unto, and to Abiathar the priest, Thus and thus did Ahithophel counsel Absalom and the elders of Israel, and thus and thus have I counseled. Now therefore send quickly and tell David, saying, Lodge not this night in the flames of the wilderness, but speedily pass over, lest the king be swallowed up and all the people that are with him. Now Jonathan and Ahimaaz stayed by Enrogel, for they might not be seen to come into the city. And a wench went and told them, and they went and told King David. Nevertheless, a lad saw them and told Absalom, but they went both of them away quickly and came to a man's house, and both in Bahurim, which had a well in his court, with, wait, yeah, okay, sorry, which had a well in his court, whither they went down. And the woman took and spread a covering over the well's mouth, and spread ground corn thereon, and the thing was not known. And when Absalom's servants came to the woman to the house, they said, Where is Ahimaaz and Jonathan? And the woman said unto them, 
They be gone over the brook of water, and when they had sought and could not find them, they returned to Jerusalem. And it came to pass after they were departed that they came up out of the well and went and told King David and said unto David, Arise and pass quickly over the water, for thus hath Ahithophel counseled against you. Then David arose and all the people that were with him, and they passed over Jordan. By the morning light there lacked not one of them that was not gone over Jordan. And when Ahithophel saw that his counsel was not followed, he saddled his ass and arose and got him home to his house, to his city, and put his household in order and hanged himself, and died and was buried in the sepulchre of his father. Then David came to Mahanaim, and Absalom passed over Jordan, he and all the men of Israel with him. And Absalom made Amasa captain of the host instead of Joab, which Amasa was a man's son, whose name was Ephra, an Israelite, and went into Abigail, the daughter of Nahash, sister to Zeruiah, Joab's mother. So, y'all are distracting me. <laughs> Stop that. Oh my goodness. Praise the Lord. We'll talk about it. So Israel and Absalom pitched in the land of Gilead, and it came to pass when David was come to Mahanaim, and Shobi the son of Nahash of Rabbah of the children of Ammon, and Mashir the son of Amiel of Lodabar, and Barzillai the Gileadite of Roglan, brought beds and basins and earthen vessels and wheat and barley and flour and parched corn and beans and lentils and parched pulse and honey and butter and sheep and cheese of kind for David and for the people that were with him to eat for they said the people is hungry and weary and thirsty in the wilderness I'm gonna start using that because that's cute is hungry <laughs> praise the Lord it's in the Bible it's, it was real sentences and David numbered the people that were with him and set captains of thousands and captains of hundreds over them and David sent forth a part of the people under the hand of Joab and a third part under the hand of Abishai the son of Zeruiah Joab's brother and a third part under the hand of Etai the Gittite and the king said unto the people I will surely go forth with you myself also but the people answered, Thou shalt not go forth, for if we flee away, they will not care for us. Neither if half of us die, will they care for us. But now thou art worth 10,000 of us. Therefore, now it is better that thou succor us out of the city. And the king said unto them, what seemeth you best, I will do. And the king stood by the gate side, and all the people came out by hundreds and by thousands. And the king commanded Joab and Abishai and Etai, saying, Deal gently, gently, deal gently for my sake with the young man, even with Absalom. And all the people heard when the king gave all the captains charge concerning Absalom. So the people went out into the field against Israel, and the battle was in the wood of Ephraim, where the people of Israel were slain before the servants of David. And there was a great slaughter that day of 20,000 men. For the people was there scattered over the face of all the country, and the wood devoured more people that, th that day than the sword devoured. And Absalom met the servants of David, and Absalom rode upon a mule, and the mule went under the thick bows of a great oak, and his head caught hold of the oak, and he was taken up between the heaven and the earth, and the mule that was under him went away. And a certain man saw it and told Joab and said, Behold, I saw Absalom hanged in an oak. And Joab said unto the man that told him, And behold, 
thou sawest him? And why didst thou not smite him there to the ground? And I would have given thee ten shekels of silver and a girdle. And the man said unto Joab, Though I should receive a thousand shekels of silver in mine hand, yet would I not put forth mine hand against the king's son. For in our hearing the king charged thee and Abishai and Ittai, saying, Beware that none touch the young man Absalom. Otherwise I should have wrought falsehood against mine own life, for there is no matter hid from the king, and thou myself, and thou thyself wouldest have set myself. Well, Lord have mercy. And beware that none toucheth the man. That's not correct. Otherwise I should have wrought falsehood against mine own life, for there is no matter hid hid from the king, and thou thyself wouldest have set thyself against me. Then said Joab, I may not tarry thus with thee, and he took the and he took three darts in his hand and thrust them through the heart of Absalom while he was yet alive in the midst of the oak. And ten young men and ten young men that bear Joab's armor compassed about and smote Absalom and slew him. And Joab blew the trumpet, and the people returned from pursuing after Israel, for Joab held back the people. And they took Absalom and cast him into a great pit in the wood, and laid a very great heap of stones upon him, and all Israel fled every one to his tent. Now Absalom in his lifetime had taken and reared up for himself a pillar, which is in the king's dale. For he said, I have no son to keep my name in remembrance. And he called the pillar after his own name, and it is called unto this day Absalom's place. Then said Ahimaz, the son of Azadok, I don't know what happened there. Then, then said Ahimaz, the son of Zadok, let me now run and bear the king's tidings that the Lord hath avenged him of his enemies. And Joab said unto him, Thou shalt not bear the tidings this day, but thou shalt bear tidings another day. But this day thou shalt bear no tidings, because the king's son is dead. Then said Joab to Cushai, Go tell the king what thou hast seen. And Cushai bowed himself unto Joab and ran. Then said Ahimaz, the son of Zadok, yet again to Joab, But howsoever, let me, I pray thee, also run after Cushai. And Joab said, Wherefore wilt thou run, my son, seeing that thou hast no tidings ready? But however he said, but however said he, let me run, and he said unto him, Run. Then Ahimaz ran by the way of the plain, and overran Cushai. Then David sat between the two gates, and the watchman went up to the roof over the gate unto the wall, and lifted up his eyes, and looked, and behold, a man running alone. And the watchman cried and told the king, and the king said, If he be alone, there is tidings in his mouth. And he came apace and drew near. And the watchman saw another man running and watching. And the watchman saw another man running, and the watchman called unto the porter and said, Behold, another man running alone. And the king said, He also bringeth tidings. And the watchman said, Methinketh the running of the foremost is like the running of Ahimaz, the son of Zadok. And the king said, He is a good man, and cometh with good tidings. And Ahimaz called and said unto the king, All is well. And he fell down to the earth upon his face before the king, and said, Blessed be the Lord thy God, which hath delivered up the men that lifted up their hand against my lord the king. And the king said, Is the young man Absalom safe? And Ahimaz answered, When Joab sent the king's servant and me thy servant, I saw a great tumult, but I knew not what it was. And the king said unto him, Turn aside and stand here. And he turned aside and stood still. And behold, Cushai came, and Cushai said, Tidings, my lord the king, for the Lord hath avenged thee this day of all them that rose up against thee. And the king said unto Cushai, Is the young man Absalom saved? And Cushite answered, The enemies of my lord the king, and all that arise 
the to do the hurt best be as that young man is. And the king was much moved and went up to the chamber over the gate and wept. And as he went, thus he said, O my son Absalom, my son, my son Absalom, would God I had died for thee, O Absalom, my son, my son. The love of a parent. And it was told Joab, Behold, the king weepeth and mourneth for Absalom. And the victory that day was turned into mourning unto all the people. For the people heard say that day how the king was grieved for his son. And the people gat them by stealth that day into the city, as people being ashamed still away when they flee in, ba in battle. But the king covered his face, and the king cried with a loud voice, O oh, my son Absalom, O oh, Absalom, my son, my son. And Joab came into the house to the king and said, Thou? Hold on. And the there we go. And the people got them by stealth that day into the city, praise the Lord, as people being ashamed steal away when they flee in battle. But the king covered his face, and the king cried with a loud voice, My son, O oh my son Absalom, O oh Absalom, my son, my son. And Joab came into the house to the king and said, Thou hast shamed this day the faces of all thy servants, which this day have saved thy life, and the lives of thy sons, and of thy daughters, and the lives of thy wives, and the lives of thy concubines. And that thou lovest thine enemies, and hatest thy friends. For thou hast declared this day that thou regardest neither princes nor servants, for this day I perceive that is, if Absalom had lived and all we had died this day, then it had pleased thee well. Oh, okay, my bad. I was, I, I was reading it and I was just like, is David talking? And is he being sarcastic? Cause straight up, I was just like, that's the reason why I'm feeling the way I am right now. I'm like, your son was wanting to kill you. Saul wanted to kill you. You go with the water stuff, people wanted to kill you. I understand, I understand. But, you know, I'm going to read this one over. And it was told Joab, behold, the king weepeth and mourneth for Absalom. And the victory that day was turned into mourning unto all the people. For the people heard say that day how the king was grieved for his son. And the, gap, and the people gat them by stealth that day into the city, as people being ashamed still away when they flee in battle. But the king covered his face, and the king cried with a loud voice, O oh, my son Absalom, O oh, Absalom, my son, my son. And Joab came into the house, uh, oh, there we go. And Joab came into the house to the king and said, Thou hast shamed this day the faces of all the servants, of all thy servants, which this day have saved thy life, and the lives of thy sons and of thy daughters, and the lives of thy wives, and the lives of thy concubines, and that thou lovest thine enemies and hatest thy friends. For thou hast declared this day that thou regardest neither princes nor servants. For this day I perceive that if Absalom had lived, and all we had died this day, then it had pleased thee well. Now therefore arise, go forth, and speak comfortably unto thy servants. For I swear by the Lord, if thou go not forth, there will not tarry one with thee this night. And that, we, and that will be worse unto thee than all the evil that befell thee from thy youth until now. Then the king arose and sat in the gate, and they told unto all the people, saying, Behold, the king doth sit in the gate. And all the people came before the king, for Israel had fled every man to his tent. And all the people were at strife throughout all the tribes of Israel, saying, The king saved us out of the hand of our enemies, and he delivered us out of the hand of the Philistines, and now he has fled out of the land for Absalom. And Absalom, whom we anointed over us, is dead in battle. Now therefore, why speak ye not a word of bringing the king back? And King David sent to Zadok and to Abiathar the priest, saying, Speak unto the elders of Judah, saying, Why are ye the last to bring the, 
to bring back to his house, seeing the speech of all Israel is come to the king, even to his house. Ye are my brethren, ye are my bones and my flesh. Wherefore, then are ye the last to bring back the king. And say ye to Amasa, Art thou not of my bone and of my flesh? God do so to me, and more also, if thou be not captain of the host, before me continually in the room of Joab. And he bowed the heart of all the men of Judah, of Judah, even as the heart of one man, so that they sent this word unto the king, Return thou and all thy servants. So the king returned and came to Jordan, and Judah came to Gilgal to meet the king to conduct the king over Judah, Jordan. And she made the son of Gera a Benjamite, which was of Baharim, hasted and came down from the men of Judah to meet King David. And there were a thousand men of Benjamin with him, and Ziba the servant of the house of Saul and his fifteen sons and his twenty servants with him. And they went over Jordan before the king. And there went over a ferry boat to carry over the king's household and to do what he thought good. And she made the son of Gera fall, fell down before the king as he was come over Jordan and said unto the king, Let not my lord impute iniquity unto me, neither do thou remember that which thy servant did perversely the day that my lord the king went out of Jerusalem, that the king should take it to his heart. For thy servant doth know that I have sinned, therefore, behold, I am come the first day this day of all the house of Joseph to go down to meet my lord the king. But Abishai the son of Zeruiah answered and said, Shall not she may be put to death for this, because he cursed the Lord's anointed? And David, and David said, What have I to do with you, ye sons of Zeruiah, that ye should this day be adversaries unto me? Shall there any man be put to death this day in Israel? For do not I know that I am this king, this day king over Israel? Therefore the king said unto Shema, Thou shalt not die, and the king swear unto him. And Mephibosheth the, Saul, the son of Saul came down to meet the king, and had neither dressed his feet nor trimmed his beard, nor washed his clothes from the day the king departed unto, until the day he came again in peace. And it came to pass when he was come to Jerusalem to meet the king, that the king said unto him, Wherefore winnest thou, wherefore now, O oh Lord have mercy, wherefore winnest now thou, blah, 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 wherefore winnest not, where is this word happening at? Wherefore wentest thou, <laughs> the song in my head is, the song I'm playing is saying, get in together. Get it together somehow. Get it together somehow. Praise the Lord. It is Chance the Rapper, too. <laughs> That's funny. Wherefore winnest not thou with me, Mephibosheth? Yeah. And he answered, My lord, O king, my servant deceived me. For thy servant said, I will saddle me an ass that I may ride thereon and go to the king, because thy servant is lame. And he hath slandered thy servant unto my lord the king. But my lord the king is as an angel of God. Do therefore what is good in thine eyes. For all of my father's house were dead men, were but dead men, before any... I'm just going to read that again. For all of my father's house were dead, but men, Lord have mercy. For all of my father's house were but dead men before my Lord the King. I'm like looking at it, I'm reading it, but it's just not coming out the right way. Now I gotta adjust myself. Okay. I got cold. Hold on. Thank you, Pikachu. You're such a cutie. <clears throat> Where are we at? For all of my father's house 
were but dead men before my lord the king. Yet didst thou set thy servant among them that did eat at thine own table. What right therefore have I yet to cry any more unto the king? And the king said unto him, Why speakest thou any more of thy matters? I have said thou and thy... <laughs> <laughs> I have said, Thou and Ziba divide the land, and Mephibosheth, that word, that name, that did not come out correct at all. And Mephibosheth said unto the king, Yea, let him take all for as much as my lord the king is come again in peace unto his own house. For his lord and Barzillai the Gileadite came down from Rogalim and went over Jordan with the king to conduct him over Jordan. Now Barzillai was a very aged man, even fourscore years old, and he had provided the king of sustenance while he lay at Mahanaim, for he was a very good man. And the king said unto Barzillai, Come thou over with me, and I will feed thee with me in Jerusalem. And Barzillai said unto the king, How long have I to live, that I should go up this day? That is not correct. And Barzillai said unto the king, How long have I to live, that I should go up with the king to, unto Jerusalem? I am this day four score four years old, and can I discern between good and evil? Can thy servant taste what I eat or what I drink? Can I hear any more the voice of singing men and singing women? Wherefore then should thy servant be yet a burden unto my lord the king? Thy servant will go a little way over Jordan with the king, and why should this king why should the king recompass it with me? It's like I, I am like I understand the story and my mouth is just not saying what I'm reading. Thy servant will go a little way over Jordan with the king, and why should the king recompass it me with such a reward? Let thy servant, I pray thee, turn back again, that I may die in mine own city and be buried by the grave of my father and of my mother. But behold thy servant Chimham, let him go over with my lord the king, and do to him what shall seem good unto thee. And the king answered, Chimham shall go over with me, and I will do to him that which shall seem good unto thee. And whatsoever thou shalt require of me, that will I do for thee. And all the people went over Jordan, and when the king was come over, the king kissed Bar Barzillai, and blessed him, and he returned unto his own place. Then the king went on to Gilgal, and Chimham went on with him. And all the people of Judah conducted the king, and also half the people of Israel. And behold, all the men of Israel came to the king, and said unto the king, Why have our brethren, the men of Judah, stolen thee away, and have brought the king and his household, and all David's men with him over Jordan? And all the men of Judah answered the men of Israel, Because the king is near of kin to us, wherefore then be ye angry for this matter. Have we eaten at all of the king's cost? cost, or hath he given us any gift? And the men of Israel answered the men of Judah, and said, We have ten parts in the king, and we have also more right in David than ye. Why then did ye despise us that our advice should not be first hand had in bringing back our king? And the words of the men of Judah were fiercer than the words of the men of Israel. We did that. Thank you. One drinking the light beer that tastes like a fistful of raw wheat. I know what you're thinking. You wish you had something refreshing, something flavorful, something with ice and bourbon and ginger ale, perhaps. Like a beam and ginger highball. Mix ice with one part Jim Bean bourbon, three parts ginger ale, <laughs> and garnish with the lemon. God yeah, is good. Bad. Need a break from beer? I can Try imagine it now. Stop that, it's cold. Praise the Lord. I hope y'all have a good day today. I look like an older person. I am an older person, but I look like an older person when they're like, 
you know, that have that low light, and then, like, they, they don't have good angles, and they're, like, talking into it, and then they're just like, I just wanted to tell you guys today that, um, I don't know why, <laughs> that was gonna be bad, that was gonna be bad, that was gonna be bad, I, I just wanted to tell y'all today that, uh, I wanted you to let you know that we we caught we caught five antelope today, and we're not gonna eat them. We didn't kill them; we just caught them. But we do it for sport. And um, this recording, oh, that that's better. Um, and you know, at the same time, I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, God bless because hallelujah and praise the Lord and. <laughs> Although this is a better camera than that, so I'm happy. <laughs> My ear itches now. the only reason I showed you. I was surprised because I, like, I cleaned my ears this morning, but like, I was in there. It was itchy. I'm in love with that girl. Who, me? Who's that with that of me? I'm in love with that girl. She tells it that of me. I'm in love with that girl. She's in love with me. Alright, we're done.